This is Cat's Diamond Painting. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've joined me here before. Diamond Art Club is bringing us their Halloween releases this weekend and I am so so excited to be able to bring you the sneak peek of this absolute beauty Haunted House by Donna Gelsinger. So first of all a massive thank you as ever to Diamond Art Club for sending this over to me to show you today. I'm very very grateful. So, as you will see from the branding, this is a square painting and you can also probably get a hint it's quite a large one. This is a 70 by 93 centimetre painting, but once I get into it I think you'll see why it needed to be because there's quite a lot of detail going on. It's going to be absolutely fabulous. So, um, this painting, as I said, is by the artist Donna Gelsinger and she is, I would say, quite a well-established artist in Diamond Art Club's sort of artists collective. Um, I would say I associate her work more with seasonal pieces or at least out of the ones that have been licensed with Diamond Art Club, that's what I see a lot of. So there are several really beautiful Christmas paintings, for instance, um, from this artist. But I think this is the first Halloween one I've seen from her. Anyway, this one is an absolute beauty, so it's a good one to start with. Um, I just want to say as well, excuse my weird pink fingernails. <laughs> I had a run in with some printer ink yesterday. I've tried several things to get it out, but it, it, it just needs to fade away, so I'm very sorry. <laughs> Not the best timing. So this painting will be released this Saturday along with Diamond Art Club's other Halloween pieces. And let me just run through the timings of that for you. If you qualify for early access release, which means you are a Ruby or Diamond member of Diamond Art Club's rewards tier structure, you will get early release half an hour before everyone else. So that will be at 9 a.m. Pacific time, 12 p.m. Eastern time or 5 p.m. UK time, because um, that's where I am. <laughs> and if you're in a different time zone, just, just Google one of those and compare it to your own time zone. General release is half an hour later, so 9.30 a.m., 12.30 p.m. and 5.30 p.m. And I suspect that some of these paintings are going to be rather popular this weekend, judging by the responses on social media. So I wouldn't hang around too long if you want to grab one, just in case yours is one that a lot of people are after. Right, let me get things out. So... Diamond Art Club paintings come with a sweet little sticker uh, which is just handy if you're like me and you store your paintings in a cupboard to stick on the side and have it be visible because the way I put them in the, the front is not visible. People use them for logbooks, people use them for all sorts of things but that is what I use them for so that is going straight on there. The next thing I'm going to have a look at is the toolkit. So Diamond Art Club sends really quite a premium toolkit as standard with their paintings and almost all paintings that you buy will come with this toolkit. Now there is an older version that has a couple less items but I haven't seen that for a while. Um, it's probably only in paintings that, that came out a very long time ago. So this one has got some nice goodies for us to look at so I'll just get that out. Try not to throw things around the table like I normally manage to do. Okay, so you will get a roll of baggies, very useful when kitting up or kitting down or if you're using maybe storage pots that don't take a full bag of drills and you've got a bit of extra. Whatever you use them for, always useful to have. Because this is a square kit, you will get a pair of branded Diamond Art Club tweezers. They have a cover on them because they are rather sharp, so just watch out for that just going to flip this over because otherwise my camera is going to keep focusing on that instead of the bits I'm showing you. <laughs> you will get a pen and matching comfort grip. So the colour of these will vary, it won't be the same if you buy this kit necessarily, but they do always seem to coordinate and this is a really nice colour, it's like a dark wine colour almost. You will get a little caddy with two plates of heart-shaped wax. That is plenty of wax for the average person to get through a painting. Um, one plate would actually last me several paintings so that's rather generous. You will get two multi-placers. So you'll get a four-placer 
and a seven placer. These are the thin plastic ones that are really quite handy because um, I mean personally I couldn't multi-place until I started until I started using these ones because they're nice and slim. You will get a roll of washi tape. Now the design will vary. Again, you won't necessarily get this one. This is quite a pretty one, I think. Um, and people use washi tape for a few different things. Um, it's often used to go around the borders of a painting where the glue kind of extends beyond the painting area um, just to stop fluff and bits and bobs getting on it. A lot of people use it to section up their paintings by putting it over the, um, the plastic cover. And I also use it just for attaching paintings to my light board when my clips won't quite get to the right place. You will get a cover minder. This is a sweet one. I don't have this one yet. So um, cover minders, again, the design will vary. You may well get a different one, even if you buy this exact same painting. And what they are is a little something like this dolphin with magnets attached to the back. And the aim of a cover minder is to hold the plastic cover of your painting out of your way so it doesn't get in your way while you're diamond painting. All you do is you pop one magnet on the back of your painting, you pop the top one on top of the plastic cover where you want it to be held in place. They connect through the painting and you're sorted. And then the last item in here is the tray. So this is a pretty decent tray. It's got a good amount of space in it and it has a stopper. So really good toolkit for you there. Let me get these put away. Right, I'm going to look in the painting. This is always the exciting bit. <laughs> I really, really can't wait to see this painting. I have been so excited to film this video. Okay, it's got a fair bit of weight to it because it's a bit of a big and beasty one. <laughs> and I always, always, always like to give my canvases a little stroke because Diamond Art Club has this brilliant backing to their paintings. It's called Tarpaulin. I believe it's trademarked. And it's a really flexible, malleable fabric, but also sturdy. It's hard to describe. And it's got this really nice soft backing. So yeah, if, if you know what I mean, you know. <laughs> but yeah, give your canvas a stroke, everyone. And I'm going to get out what is inside so I can show you these. Okay, first things first, here is a better picture of the image. Isn't it amazing? I love it. I love the colours. I love the bright bits of light coming out from the house and all the little characters. And these are the reasons why this painting needed to be big, by the way, because I've seen a rendering picture of this painting and they look really good. And if it was smaller, they'd just be little pixelated blobs. So yeah, I love all the different sections. It's gonna be really, really fun to work through. And lots of beautiful colours as well. I love these purpley pinky colours in the sky. So Diamond Art Club will send you a sticker sheet with your painting um, and you can see on here that there are 55 colours in this painting. So not too many compared to some of the releases that we've had recently. Five of the colours are AB drills. AB stands for Aurora Borealis drills and it means basically that the standard matte drill that you, well not matte because they're shiny, but the standard drills have an extra special coating on them to make them shine and reflect the light and just bring accents to a painting. And they usually add really nice effects to a piece of a, a, a diamond painting. So it looks like I've got a pink, two shades of yellow, a red and a white. So I will find those later on and show you where they go on the painting. And then down at the bottom of the list, this Z refers to fairy dust drills, which is a newer type of special drill that Diamond Art Club bought out right at the start of this year, I believe. Um, and they're like a cross between a normal drill and an AB drill. They're, glit they're glittery, they've got a glittery effect, but it's a bit more muted and subtle. Really, really, really pretty. So, that is what we're going to be working with. I'm just going to quickly show you as well this thank you for your purchase leaflet that comes in every Diamond Art Club painting. Um, this is really useful information, particularly if it's your first time purchasing from Diamond Art Club. Inside you've got lots of different bits. Can't get in, here we are. <laughs> You've got a what's included in your kit. Um, you've got step-by-step -step video instructions and an invitation to join their Facebook group um, and some other social media links for them. 
more step-by-step -step instructions, tips and tricks, and some discount codes. Discount codes are very important when you're purchasing from Diamond Art Club because you never need to pay full price with Diamond Art Club. There are always discount codes you can use. There's a 10% code here that's valid for your next purchase. There is a 20% off code for your first purchase through the app. And if this is your first time purchasing from Diamond Art Club, please do also feel free to use my discount code, which is CAT20. It's in the description box of this video. And that will give you 20% off your very first purchase from Diamond Art Club. So some really useful stuff in there. Okay, I'm gonna have a little peek at the canvas and then I'm gonna go through the drills. Diamond Art Club uses poured glue for their paintings, which means that the glue is a much more flexible, forgiving type of glue than the double-sided adhesive paintings that used to be a lot more typical. So I can roll it back on itself like this to flatten it. You can also just leave Diamond Art Club paintings to, to just lie out and they will self flatten. It is a feature of this tarpaulin canvas, but I do not have the patience for that. So if I just do this, it should do a good job of flattening it. And then if you have any more trouble after that point, you can also just lift the plastic cover a bit and it will help. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to show you it all in one go, but I will pan over it in a bit. But let's have a little peek. <gasps> Wow. Oh my gosh, the rendering on this is amazing. Look at all that detail. Oh, it's gorgeous. I love it. First thing I'm thinking looking at this is it's probably not going to be the quickest project to work up. There's a fair amount of confetti but also a lot of lines coming through the house. So if you're a multi-placer, those might go a bit quicker, but there's so many different sections and bits to work on. It'd be so fun to just like work on a gravestone or the ghost or, or whatever you might do to work on it. But it's gonna be such a fun one. I love it. I think I did just show you the top while I was unrolling, but I'll just pull it down to show you that as well. I love, love, love the colors in the sky. This is such a cool painting. Okay, let me get the drills out and go through those with you. So I'm just gonna move that out of the way for a moment and get my big beastie bag of drills out to show you. It's wrapped like this with a sticker. So if you like to store your drills and your painting separately for ease of storage, then that's easily done. And look at that color palette. It's, it's autumn on a, I was gonna say on a plate, but autumn in a bag. <laughs> All the browns and oranges, and it's just so, so Halloween appropriate. Okay, let me go through the drills and show you what you're gonna be working with if you buy this painting. Uh, can I find my way in? Okay, I'll whiz through the crinkly bit. Okay, let's check out these drills. Diamond Art Club arranges their drills by the size of the bags rather than the DMC code. So if it seems a little random, that is why. And it looks like the first row I've picked up is the bigger bags of drills. And I'm seeing lots and lots of colors that have several bags of the same color. So we know they're gonna heavily feature in the painting. So we've got 898 and then 839, which look like pretty similar shades of brown. Lots and lots of those. Another brown here with 938, got five, five bags of that one. Definitely a lot of brown going on in this painting. 160, got three bags of 400. And four bags of 3371, a very, very dark brown. And, ooh, I like that. Nice sort of heavy gray. I'm not sure what you'd call it, so I'll make up my own name for it. Moving on to the next strip. 159 is a, a sort of blue-gray. That pack's got a little crinkled, but that's all looking good. 666 is like fire engine red. 
and 740. I love, love, love bright colours. And I think particularly on a painting like this, where by the, because of the nature of the artwork, there are a lot of colours that are a bit more drab in themselves. These pops of colours are what, what is going to make it so much fun to work on for someone like me. 158 is a lovely dark blue and I've got 840. I'm seeing now why there's only 55 colours because there are a lot of colours that have a lot of drills if, if that makes sense. More nice browns and beiges. All those very similar colours to each other are going to give such wonderful depth of shading. That's what really sets apart the paintings made by a place like Diamond Art Club from cheaper options out there and what makes them so worth it. Got a lovely grey. I do like grey. Some more browns. Oh, three tens. How many three tens? Three bags of three ten. Not too bad. 300 and another nice blue there, 791. Okay, getting onto smaller bags of colours now that just have a little bit in the painting. So I've got another grey and another orange. Lovely browns and beiges again. Ooh, first special drill. So this pink is one of the AB drills and just in case you weren't familiar with that term, although I reckon most people are by now, you can see on there it's got that extra glitzy coating and wherever that goes in the painting it's going to draw your eye and highlight it. It's a nice red there. You can see a little bit of static in some of these packs of drills. Nothing too terrible, but if you do run into static with your drills where you see them sticking to the edges of your bag and it makes them a little hard to handle, there are lots of tips out there, including a video that I put out a few months ago on, on managing static, so do check that out. Oh, I love that purple colour. 3835, that's a favourite of mine. And oh, another AB. Look at that bright orange, that is fun. Several bags of 301 and a couple of this sort of, again, a, like a darker grey blue. And then moving on to, I think, the last strip. Yep. These are the smaller bags of drills. So there's hardly any of this one, just a teeny tiny bit of this grey here. And then 3756, which is, I think, a baby blue or something is called. That's a lovely one some creams and beiges and here is the fairy dust drill. I'll just move that around a bit so you can hopefully see it because as I said before it is much more subtle than the AB drills. It's harder to pick up in the camera but it has a really lovely effect when placed. I've got some pink, 550 is a lovely shade of purple and lots more browns, purples and 129. A very popular, I think, um, yellow AB, because I, I say popular because it comes up in a lot of my paintings and I really like it. 823, 141 is a white AB. And just a few more to go, like that pink. And there's a sort of, oh, like a lighter orange. So we've got a yellow, a light orange and a darker orange AB. They're going to be in all those windows, aren't they? With the light shining out, I can just tell. <laughs> so those are the colours that you're going to be working with if you decide to pick up this painting. Now I've cleared those out of the way, I am going to pan over this painting so that you can see it all as clearly as I can. And then I'll come back and try and pick out where those special drills go.
hope you enjoyed taking a look at that with me. Isn't the detail amazing? They've just done such a good job of capturing it. Okay, so special drills time. Um, I've got codes one, two, three, four, and a dot for the ABs, and then this little triangle type type thing going on for the fairy dust drill. So let me see what I can find when I take a peek. Looking for number ones, first of all, which was the pink one, and I spy them up here in the moon. So that's bringing in these pinky purple tones in the sky, in the reflection of the moon. That's going to be lovely. Number two is the pale yellow, and I reckon I'm going to see lots of twos and threes and possibly even fours in similar places. Yeah, looking at the windows, that's full of twos and threes twos and threes and lots of twos in the ghost as well around the outside and threes in the pumpkin and in the door down here and some in these bright orangey flowers as well that is cool and then the fours are the darker orange and those are all throughout all of these flowers and well leaves really rather than flowers and the pumpkin and I think if I go right back up here yeah they're through here as well and a little bit on the broomstick so as you see very much accents but they just make so much sense where they've been put and then the whites the little dots I see some some bits through here and then in the moon there's quite a nice chunk of them again that makes so much sense the moon is going to be all glowy and beautiful and again in the ghost, outlining the ghost, you can see a bit there. And I think that's about it. And then last but not least, that fairy dust drill. So I don't see any down here, but I did spot quite a bit up here coming through this section. So where there's white bits in the tree um, which I'm not sure what that is are they leaves or flowers or like patches of moonlight I'm not really sure but that looks cool and I don't think I see any others of that I didn't think it was that smaller bag so I feel like I'm probably missing some but that's what I can see for now so there you go I am excited by this painting. I think it's just got so much going on in it and it's just like the essence of Halloween to me. You know, you've got the cat, you've got the witch, you've got the ghost, you've got the grave guard, you've got the pumpkins, you've got the autumny colours. It's, yeah, it's Halloween in a painting. Just a beautiful piece from the artist and a brilliant job as ever from Diamond Art Club with the rendering. It really looks like it's gonna be spectacular. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at this with me. Um, remember, if you want to pick up this painting, it will be available tomorrow, Saturday, the 30th of September. And depending on where you are at in the rewards tier structure that Diamond Art Club offers, it's gonna be available at either 9 a.m. Pacific time, 12 p.m. Eastern time, or 5 p.m. UK time, or half an hour later on general release. So do check it out if you are interested. Thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing if you haven't already subscribed to the channel and I will hopefully see you again soon. Bye bye.